Let's bundle some blocks together and let's add tags to our mod. New topics added to the Forge and Fabric courses such as tameable and writable entities, projectiles, throwable projectiles and boats, as well as first steps to biomes and dimensions. Courses linked in the description below. Oh, Ruby fans is back in Tillage once more and in this tutorial we're going to be adding tags to our mod and what are tags? That's the first question of course. Now we have dealt with them before when we added the block tags for basically the mineable as well as the needs x tool tag. That's when we actually did deal with tags a little bit but to give a brief overview basically tags are a collection of blocks items or sometimes other things that basically have a common or shared purpose. In our case, the block tag that we're going to add is going to be used in the metal detector item right here in the is valuable block method. Instead of hard coding it to only look for iron ore or diamond ore, what we're going to do is we're going to make this expandable with a custom tag. For this, in the tutorial mod package, we're going to right click a new packet called util. I personally like to put this in the util package. You don't have to, but this is just a personal preference of mine. Then we're going to call this the mod tags class, and this is going to have two static classes inside of it. The first one is the public static class called blocks and we're going to finish this and the second one is the public static class for items here in this case. Of course the blocks class inside of the mod tags class is going to hold the block tags and the items the item tags. We're going to start with the blocks for this we're going to make a private static tag key tap to autocomplete of type of block net micro block block and this is going to be create tag the method is going to take in a string name parameter and we're going to return tag key dot of you can see it even suggests this to us registry keys dot block comma new identifier passing in tutorial mod dot mod id and then the name parameter and that is it we can then duplicate or copy over the method here and then just change this to item change the registry keys to item and that is also going to add a method here for the items. Now in this case we're not going to add any keys here for our items in this tutorial because we don't need them but in the future we have the option to do so. And what's also quite important is that even though we're adding this via the code right here this is basically just a key that then refers to one of the JSON files to which we're going to add in just a moment as well. So you can have the JSON file standalone as well and you don't necessarily need the key however if you don't have the key then you can reference it in the code and that's of course you know the whole thing that we're doing this so we can reference this in the metal detector item and this is then going to be a public static final tag key of type block here and this is the metal underscore detector underscore detectable underscore blocks equal to the create tag method and then the same name metal underscore detector underscore detectable underscore blocks there we go absolutely freaking fantastic let's copy this name just so that we don't have any typos in here and then we need to actually create this as a json file instead of the data tutorial mod folder we want to right click new directory called tags and then this is extremely important new directory called blocks because now we're making a blocks tag meaning it needs to be tutorial mod tags blocks extremely important and then inside of there we make a new file we're going to paste in the name making sure that the name given right here in the create tag method is the same as the name of the file and then dot json there we go and i'm just going to copy over the contents over here this is of course available to you in the github repository linked in the description below and what you have is you have number one the ruby ore right here and then we have all of the minecraft tags so inside of this tag we're referring to other tags namely the gold ores emerald ores so on and so forth this basically includes both the stone as well as the deep slate variant of those ores which we're then going to be able to find with the metal detector item. To do this in the is valuable block method, we of course want to change this from hard coding the iron and the diamond ore to saying state dot is in. We're going to call the is in method and then just saying mod tags dot blocks dot metal detector detectable blocks. And that's it. Now it's going to basically take a look at whether or not the state pass into this method is part of the tag right here. And if it is, then we found a valuable block. And we're going to output it and so on and so forth. So as crazy as this, that is actually all that we need to do. So the main thing is, of course, that custom tags are going to be under your tutorial mode data folder. And also make sure that, that it is tags, blocks, and then the custom tag. There we go. So let's jump into the game and see if it works. All right, finds us back in Minecraft. And let's just see if we can find some copper ore. Let's see if we can find something else. A coal ore right there. Iron ore, lapis lazuli, deep state iron ore. So we can find everything, including, if we take a look here, the ruby ore right here as well absolutely freaking awesome and that is custom tags added to your mod right and next time in this video we're gonna ditch all of those json files and we're gonna finally do a data gen hope to see you there so yeah